Hello everyone and you're welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, let's see a new recipe of fruit cake. See how delicious and tempting it looks. It's totally eggless and see how super soft and moist it is. So if you like this recipe, do like, share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to smash the bell icon button to get the notification. Let's get started. So first take a bowl and put 1 fourth cup of oil. Use any neutral flavorless oil. Do not use olive oil or coconut oil. Now put half cup of curd. The curd should be fresh. With the help of whisker you need to mix curd and oil together. So now let's sift some dry ingredients. So here I have put half cup of powdered sugar. Now put 1 cup of all purpose flour that is maida. 1 fourth cup of custard powder. This is vanilla flavor one. At last we need to put 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of baking powder. Just sift all the dry ingredients. You can sift dry ingredients in separate bowl and together you can mix it later. But here I have sift in a single bowl itself. So gently start mixing dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And now I'm going to put half cup plus two tablespoon of milk. This milk is at room temperature. By mixing all together make sure that you make a lump free batter. And now I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla essence. After putting vanilla essence, we need to mix it once again. Make sure that you just mix it very softly. Now I'm going to put a handful of tutti frutti. With the help of spatula, just let's cut and fold the batter. I have already preheated my oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to transfer this batter to a greased cake tin. I've greased it with oil. You can grease it with butter. And now once you transfer the mixture to the cake tin, put little tutti frutti on top also. I have already preheated my oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And once you transfer the cake batch, you need to tap it gently and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 to 40 minutes. But in between you need to check it by inserting a knife or skewer so that you need to know whether the cake has completely baked or not. So once when it has cooled down completely, we need to demold the cake by losing it from the sides. See our cake, how beautiful it looks. Now let's cut our cake. See the super soft and moist cake. So if you like this recipe, do like, share and subscribe my channel. And do not forget to smash the bell icon button to get the notification. Let me know in the comment section, how do you like this cake? Thank you and bye bye.